come back tonight and answer $20 questions and everything. I right, for this is one for everybody involved. No particular sign, but some may stick out more than others. So it's an extra special message in there for you guys. This is Nisha. How y'all doing? Welcome and please drop a like, share, and comment to the channel if you find yourself resonating with this reading. Okay, so definitely um delayed but not denied. Okay, because it's saying that you guys are gonna get a wish here. Um that may be um, denied at the time or just being delayed, but it's going to be proven necessary as well. Okay, when it comes to a project, it shouldn't not be going on anyway with Mercury retrograde showing up. Okay, we got Libra Pisces energy showing in here. And we got here improvements on the way, feeling smug or pleased. Okay, so I feel like somebody thought they got away with slowing you guys down or, you know, making you feel uncomfortable as well. Because I was going to put um, something else in there. Hold on. I had to pull off my damn earring. <laughs> All right, but you see how they're sitting up there looking good? Okay, I'm hearing like the, the sheets are coming off or the veil is being lifted. Um, when it comes to this person, you guys may discover that you could be a Pisces or a Libra, that somebody has been blocking you guys, okay, making it hard for you guys to feel comfortable, okay, get your hair right, uh, get what you want, get your wishes, your desires, Um, somebody could have been just overall making something uneasy and stuff, and the reason why I got here, so we have here changed in the night, all right, you have changed quickly. So I feel like you guys have changed something up or you will be changing something up as well. So we got here the star. Yeah, you got to you guys are going to get something that y'all deserve. The star is a sure sign of success in all enterprise when near. And so this card is the first card that came out. All right, so y'all could be wanting to heal something because the star also represents healing. All right, maybe something being slowed down when it came to some type of surgery, uh, um, something that you've been hoping to heal up quicker. It just hasn't got a chance to get there, but it will, okay? You're going to be healing from something. So maybe something's taking extra longer, especially when you go through surgery or you got to get something taken care of. Um, this could be feet surgery or this could be um, for some of you guys, too, with the because I'm, I'm health. I'm thinking health with the star card. Some of you guys may actually be discovering become stars. OK, like if you guys are out there doing YouTube videos and TikToks and all that, that's one scenario. But I'm also getting health scenarios where if you had a foot surgery or you had to have a knee replacement, um, it could be taking longer than necessary to heal but it's going to heal up just fine for you guys um something is going to become a success or something is already successful now because pisces rules our feet and stuff <laughs> and i got uh ankles okay aquarius with an ankle and our calves and stuff so there could be something around that um we have here the and then the empress to me it could be like kidney trans um transplant all right getting approved for something getting approved for medical benefit to treat you so you can start healing and stuff. So whatever has been delayed, it's necessary for it to be delayed, but it will get better here with the star showing up as the first car. So, um, but I do feel like somebody laughing because they think they won and they haven't won yet. Okay, death card. Yeah, somebody could have counted you guys out. Okay, death of a situation or an ending and new beginning showing up. Scorpio energy as well. Major changes coming through. Get ready. This year, everything is changing. Okay, Pluto's and Capricorn could have been a Capricorn that counted y'all out as well. Somebody too. This could have been a father, a mother, a parental figure that thought you guys was going to not be able to change something and you proved to come out way better some of y'all too um something was taken or something is delayed around the inheritance it probably is necessary because maybe it's a certain person that's not supposed to get a piece of this inheritance as well yeah numbers are important too 33 the empress is a three card to nine okay something is over we got the sun card okay marriage some of you guys could be a leo scorpio but a lot of major arcanas three major colors are already out in the beginning of the reading and collectively they want you guys to know that there is some type of <laughs> reunion or a union kind not a reunion there's a union coming together all right and then we got happiness and bright prospects okay so somebody could be looking at y'all or y'all might look at somebody and see them as a bright prospect okay um Definitely, if you guys are going into any type of interview, you are considered one of them candidates or that somebody is like, yeah, I could be with this person and stuff. All right, somebody getting overthrown too or something is at the end of something as well. But the sun comes out the death. That's a good, that's like good. All right, damn, let's go. Damn, girl, don't hurt them. <laughs> All right, 19 is the sun, okay? 
We got here five of cups. Now somebody kind of sad and stuff because they can't get over on y'all. They can't get y'all. And um, now, okay, money losses. So y'all may have temporarily lost something, okay? But it, they said all is not lost. You look back behind you, you may have something to savage, okay? You might figure out something or you may be able to leverage something. Or you could be able to let something go. I don't know why I got let it go or offer up or something like that. Um, and it was Poshmark, I believe, too, was the one where people be able to give. I don't know. You could have clothes, okay? You could sell something, shoes, okay? People buy all the time. But y'all may find a way to savage something. But I do feel like it's a Scorpio that may be apologizing to y'all. Or somebody could be saying sorry because they need money as well. And they know y'all doing good, but... Yeah, there's been some type of bloodshed or blood spilled here. Um, somebody's not happy. For some of y'all, if you miscarried a baby, you're going to get a second chance to procreate another baby. You can't return a baby when it's lost. Of course not. But I also see that too. Um, because sometimes five of cups represents bereavement. And we do have a son coming, and you know, which is a baby. Whatever. <laughs> we got here. Like, wow, wow, a lot of Scorpio and stuff. I was reading some messages. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is that? Okay. Um, yeah, a lot of water here. So definitely um, Pluto is coming through. A lot of people are looking at their prospects now. So maybe y'all have been having to wait a while to see what's good or what's on the market or who's out there. Maybe you've been waiting a while to date, okay, because of how these cars are coming through. And now you're finally meeting somebody like that you think that's worthy of your time. Where bright prospects and marriage showing up. Leo energy. Leo, Scorpio, Pisces, and Libra, okay? All three of these cards is Scorpio to me, okay? The last three cards that just showed up. Blue eyes, fair hair, brown hair, soft, gentle, and motherly. Okay, somebody could be a single mother as well. All right, some gentle, gentle giant. All right, so who's spying on y'all? So this person could be watching y'all. Okay, moving on. Now, y'all got a spy in y'all reading, looking at y'all. What they looking at this spy? All right. <laughs> we got the seven of pentacles. Wow, somebody could be looking at y'all money investments. Like somebody watching something. Whoop. <laughs> Oh my God, I, nose dive, a head dive. You see how the phone just fell? <laughs> All right, so let's see here. <laughs> yeah, somebody like head deep, okay? Diving into something really deep and I'm um, looking at it. Uh, I left my um, private eye deck on the ground, but shit, this is enough to let you know, like, because I like who she looking at or what this page of source is looking at. They're looking at the seven of pentacles. So some of you guys have somebody, a young woman or uh, shit, it could be your child, depending on how old you are in here. That is checking out your money and what y'all got going on. You could be a mother and stuff for for real or a father, um. But and she looked young. Work frustration. Okay, this could be a coworker, or somebody looking over to see if y'all doing y'all job, micromanagement and stuff. Hard work is needed. I feel like more co work with the page of swords and how this coming out than a manager. Um, needing to be done either at work or in a situation in life, okay? So someone is definitely making y'all way harder. Young woman to the age of 25, spying or deceptive, reflecting back over your shoulders, okay? So something is telling you to look back at something, maybe for the last, the, go look back over your documentation for the last six months or your bank account statements and stuff to see if there's an error here. Something has been manipulated too. Hmm. So yeah, I feel like too, with this showing up like that, and the star card, like something should have been in y'all account or something is missing out of the account. Let's see what it is with the gypsy cards. All right, so flattery. <laughs> All right, so the cat and the K flattery and um, near foretells um, personal injury. So was this a lawsuit or something that you guys were supposed to get that hasn't came through? And it did no stripes, okay? So I feel like somebody could be trying to sue somebody here. All right, so um, policies and procedures, malpractice, and all type of other thing because the the swords are sore, um, surgical. Okay, so someone is like sniffing through some things to see what's going on, but flattery. So somebody is buttercup. Okay, buttercup. <laughs> somebody could be buttering you guys up for information. Let's see what else is going on. Eight of cups, but I feel like whoever this person is, Pisces, Taurus, that's looking at y'all and stuff, um, to see what's going on. 
Like somebody could also be thinking you guys doing like insurance scams, okay? Or insurance fraud or company fraud or stealing money that is that is not relevant. Like you how are you making this money? How are you scheming the system? And what are you doing to get something? But when they realize there's nothing there, they walk away or somebody's trying to cause you guys money problems and stuff. Cause you're looking at something here. You're like, I'm working hard, but my numbers is not growing. Somebody could be altering that shit, okay? Oh man, we had an ace of ones. It could be ideals and stuff, new beginning, birth. All right. Why did I just hear like a X ray? Uh ultrasound. Or what else? X-ray, ultrasound, something where the shit, the date is wrong on something, okay? Money problems, turning your back, walking away. All right. <laughs> And then we got here, nothing, and knowing nothing you can, more can be done about it. So somebody could have been trying to get something or get you guys caught up in something, but they realize they can't get you, like your background is uh, squeaky clean. You're not a criminal. You don't do shit wrong. How they going to lock your ass up and everything? But I'm also seeing that a doctor could have told a male here that he's in, impotent or like he can't get it up. It's like somebody's scamming for money and stuff. Um, <laughs> the documentation is wrong here, okay? So somebody's like well in doubt they should be able to have baby somebody fertile myrtle okay they should be able to get pregnant and somebody could be lying and shit deception for money and stuff and somebody is like healthy than a horse okay they can produce um as well so somebody could have walked away from a doctor appointment or some type of consultation believing that something was a lie here and um, they saying, look back six months and see what's going on. What was you doing about six months ago, seven months ago uh, financially? And see what doctor appointments, okay, or what was supposed to be on the table and stuff. Significant. Probably around one of the eclipse as well, too. Or it's coming up in Pisces season. All right, so 10 of ones. Way down with problems and um, a heavy load, okay? So somebody's like um, trying to put stress on somebody. All right, we got here the rod, okay? Near predicts family quarrels and distant personal um, loss as well. Yeah, so it could be family inheritance, personal loss. Seven of Pentacles is a trust fund. So your family or several people could have been on losing something or getting something. I, I'm hearing like... um. I'm hearing like somebody scratching at the wall or somebody like um, instigating a fight and then they, they move themselves out of it. It could be a Sagittarius or Taurus or something. It's like somebody initiates the conversation. Well, mama, didn't you say when you was going to die, you was going to get X, Y, and Z some money? And the other person like, what you mean that they was going to be? Um, didn't you say uh, such and such was included in your inheritance? Then this person walks away. Then there's a whole debate around money, inheritance, will. Some of this like is happening and somebody like trying to cover it up because maybe somebody gonna call y'all and reveal this okay like did you know you was on such and such will or did you know when your mom passed or your grandma passed that you get 20 percent or something yeah somebody a snake <laughs> ah yeah they is naked or something okay and the snake indicate immunity a clam uh what is it calamity and it say the degree in which governed by the person. Okay, so yeah, somebody is life is falling to shambles, or somebody life is crumbling under pressure and stuff. Or this person was trying to make y'all life crumble under pressure. But I feel like this person in life is going like to somebody is also something is being delayed for somebody because they're been doing you guys wrong. So a part of their karma is not getting their inheritance or getting something because of what they're doing and stuff. This snake here. All right, we got here to um, park. Y'all going to meet a new person. A new love is coming in y'all life. And then we have the ring and stuff as well. <laughs> I'm telling y'all the grudge. Somebody holding like a seven-year grudge or somebody's holding a dangerous grudge in this reading too. Uh, this could be a parental figure, but not for all of y'all because the empress is the head of this reading right now and the nine of cups. So you guys are getting something, but some, it's been a long delay and stuff. Uh, or a marriage, okay? The prospect, maybe somebody been holding off or keeping you guys from getting some type of marriage. Maybe somebody mother disapproved of a marriage or um, family members in the business. I mean, damn, everybody in the business with the 10 of 1. Some of you guys, too, you should have been also got a promotion, moved to the next level. And your co-workers is just like piranhas and bottom feeders making it hard for that um, to seal the deal. 
but the ring went to the right of the person is um, an unringing of indication of riches and happy marriage. But lying to the left is a disappointment in love. All right, so I feel like you guys are about to marry somebody. You could be marrying to money and stuff as well, and somebody knows this and stuff. And we got the fox. Some of y'all can't trust y'all friends, okay? Me and more. But we have here somebody looking at y'all with great interest and stuff. So there's a lover around Virgo. Y'all could be a Virgo. You could be in hidden and stuff as well. Loneliness, unattached, soul searching, needing time to be along. Okay, so somebody's trying to keep you guys like a locked up like a virgin so nobody can find y'all, but people are finding y'all. Raising money or salary, yeah, six of pentacles, okay? You're like, where my raise go? Okay, or something disappeared and shit. But the fox is saying, it could be y'all look, the fox is saying a Virgo or a Taurus is going to betray y'all, or y'all Taurus or a Virgo and an acquaintance is going to betray y'all financially and stuff. It's like somebody's still going to try to use your credit card or try to use your bank card to do something here as well. Or somebody's trying to cleverly uh, get you not to, like, somebody's trying to get y'all to work more for that, not a raise or money. Like, you know, put in the hours, but you don't get paid for that shit. The fox is in close proximity, okay, argues a trusted acquaintance who seeks to betray you in the distance, okay? I'm telling y'all, and I was like, who is this person? This is somebody that's been like, the page of swords and the hermit coming out, and the hermit is looking at the six of pentacles, the page of swords is looking at the seven of pentacles, both are banking information, both are spies or detectives and stuff, so... Maybe you guys are going to be warned about this or discover this, okay? This could be a fake charity and stuff. And from what I'm getting to, this could be the black market because I was just talking about kidneys and uh, what else can you um, buy off the black market as far as organs, human organs and stuff. This could definitely be that. Like somebody needs like a uh, liver, kidney, okay, lung, I don't know, a heart and they ass is looking and stuff. And somebody also could be trying to um, be compatible with somebody to do that transplant, Okay. I don't know why I'm getting the black market on here because of the star, the health card, and how these cards coming up as well. And I'm getting kidney problems mainly because alcohol and Libra energy together, okay? Because nine of cups is somebody that's an alcoholic and they fucking up their beauty or they fucked up their health and stuff and they need a donor and shit. Um, for those who need a donor, you're doing right, you've been delayed. Some of y'all might actually be approved or find a match to that. It could go both ways, but I feel like some black, black market shit is up on here coming through. All right, so maybe it's this company could be reaching out to y'all and asking for y'all to donate or you come across something. You got to be careful because I believe when the pandemic hit, a lot of people donated to Red Cross and it, was, it wasn't even Red Cross, okay? They donated to a company that had built a website and went the true, um, true website and stuff. So whoever built that website got away with a lot of money. I'm seeing some trickery shit like this. Um, so... Yeah, be careful who you give your money to, okay? If you're planning on giving somebody a big donation, make sure that the company is legit, okay? <laughs> yeah, we have the hangman. Yeah, getting stronger in oneself after a lot of deliberating and delaying. Also thinking, okay, don't be so quick to do something. Give it about a week with the Ace of Wands, okay, before you say yes or no or before you deny something because it's more information that's coming. It's something being in here, though. Maybe. Money. Stock market, okay? So the fish is an emblance of rich through the stock market, but if it's distant, it foretells of failures and um, disasters. So it's like next to this hangman. So some of you guys don't have enough information to do something, or you need to seek expert advice and stuff so you won't lose your money. Somebody could need to move their money to you. could be a Pisces and stuff. The hangman, let's see. We got eight of pentacles, paid work, okay? So yeah, so mm, Virgo is coming through here a lot too. So, look, the Six of Pentacles say somebody should have got paid or somebody's being undercut or somebody's not getting the full um, payment of what they deserve here in their job. And it's a uh, it's a promotion being hit. But they say it's okay because that is going to be that's going to be worked out and everything. Hello, love. Hey, Echo. Yeah. Somebody going to pass away, too. Mm. Don't overwork yourself into an early grave, okay? So the coffin foretells um, acute illness. Like I thought, somebody could be dealing with um, a, a organ failure. Some One of them organs is failing on somebody. Uh, loss of property could be theft, too. Um, insurance claims, okay? Fouling insurance claim, whether it be homeowner's insurance, uh, 
hospital insurance, some type of insurance claim is here. It could be fraudulent too, depending on who doing what. But yeah, but it say if it's distance, it's a possibility that you can invert the evil. All right, so it could be a police officer, or it could be a cancer that a voice a voice the evil, or somebody. Um, it could be a cancer that's dealing with an acute illness as well too. The chariot, the police. All right, we got here. Um. Oh, I'm hearing somebody dealing with a parasite, okay? A uh, um, parasitic <laughs> infection. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. Scientific. That shit came out anyways. Come reading these cards and shit, and I'll be reading other shit. The police, though, but um, in Cheerios Cancer. Um, but it's a movement, a resident journey, okay, victory over a situation and problem. So remember it said avoid the evil. So somebody is going to be able to avoid a illness or a miraculous, something miraculous is going to happen where something is supposed to kill somebody or took somebody out um, and they get out of something, okay? This could be somebody shit uh, got shot in their damn head because, you know, I be thinking police officer, like somebody could have been shot in the line of duty and they live and stuff as well or they come up out of a situation balancing the opposite of polarity. So love and hate. You know, so we love the police and we hate the police. We love the police when we need help and we hate them when we see them do wrong things. But regardless, this could be a heroic act or somebody's a hero here. Um, yeah. Somebody is like planning somebody deaf and shit though. But this person is just taking time out. They're going to get better, okay? It's going to get greater later. Wow. So collectively too, this is what people could be thinking about, experiencing. All right. Um, uh, they be arguing about defund the police and stuff or raise funds for the police and you don't know if you helping or hindering it, okay? Which I feel like I feel like they shouldn't defund the police. That's my experience. They should just get them better training. Everybody need better training. But the company, just like the hospital, they skim on the treatments that they need or the programming and training that they need to train the people to be efficient at their job. And that's why people suffer and stuff because they don't have the proper training. And mentally, or they may need to go get a psychiatric check um like somebody need to check and make sure they ass is capable of doing a job but we can never predict human behavior if that was the case we would be okay right people can just snap <laughs> cancer is the energy known for um when it comes to serial killers or people that kills cancer is that sign that is known for the passion of crime. Like they do shit in the moment they do not think they do snap they are on that fucking uh what is it? Is it snap? Yeah, when they, they snap, crack, and pop. Cancers is that sign. The police, okay, the chariot. It's that sign that kill people in the heat of passion, in the heat of moment. It is not planned murders and stuff. This is not something that could be planned out now. If it's a Virgo, possibly, but Virgos are also known as the serial killers or the robbers of the damn zodiac sign. They're usually going to rob your ass for some money or do a bank robbery or some, probably some hacking. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, okay, so, anyway. Fun facts is that somebody is then playing something uh, as well, but somebody could have avo somebody avoids a um, terrible incident as well. This could be like sex STDs and stuff um, being passed around with the Ace of Ones. Somebody avoids getting an um, uncurable STD or some shit like that. Let's go. All right, so we got the ship. <laughs> So y'all may be discovering that too, or somebody like, damn, I'm glad I didn't sleep with that person after learning some news or something. There is a warning in there. All right, so, you know, keep your legs closed if you can, <laughs> or wear protection as you can. And most likely, shit, just go get the person tested if you can. I mean, you can't never be 100% sure. Ship is a symbol of riches. When near and indicate ref by inheritance or trade, also foretells voyages. Yeah, movement. Remember, it said that long journey movement. Somebody could move somewhere or somebody can go somewhere and hit it rich. Okay, I always get that California stretcher when that lady was getting the Popeye chicken and she hit it, she stretched off a 10 million dollar stretcher just sitting there um, to eat chicken for twenty dollars. Okay, but I'm um, this is basically saying somebody because maybe we had the stock market here too with the fish. Okay, so somebody could really be good this could be a obyng too that some of you guys okay i don't know somebody could be trading um trading um changing fields okay going from doing one thing to doing another i don't know why that's important too <laughs> like so somebody was a driver now they asses is going to go um do trade <laughs> 
I'm E Trade or something. Seven of Swords, well, that's a hack right there. Okay. Oh, somebody Aquarius, somebody gonna get their dreams or somebody gonna figure out a hack. <laughs> Plans, hope, wish, car, hire my arcana and stuff. The star didn't come out, but the star is in the gypsy deck here. So somebody's gonna find a clever way to um get rich and stuff. <laughs> get rich. And it's clever uh, indeed and stuff. But some of y'all, this is a mighty enemy. Somebody is also like, um, what they got hit with bad luck. So like, I feel like something is delayed on purpose. Somebody also about to be exposed for some lies and shit they told. We got the mountain is an indication of a mighty enemy presence next to you guys and stuff. And then we got the bird is a signal of misfortune and a fierce enemy. So, woo. and then we got the moon. It could be a Pisces or a Cancer, okay? Um, this motherfucker, uh, military too. With the chariot, police, military, SWAT, okay, shit. Um, they got the biggest funding and shit. <laughs> I was about to go into politics. Anyway, we have here the moon when there is a good omen and predicts fortune when there, but distant exposure of your secrets. So somebody trying to expose somebody's secrets or somebody trying to figure out how somebody trade, okay? Ace of swords, frustration, double-edged swords, hollow victory. So be, yeah, mm. What is it when people be killing people with the hollow tips and stuff? I don't know why I got hollow tips and shooting and shit. Um, snipers and shit. Silent death or silent killer. Or, yeah, this is like somebody that could be a sniper here. Or somebody was planning on um, hiring a hitman. Yeah, the hermit. Mm -hmm, the chariot, the police hitman. Yeah, somebody got some bullshit going on. We got the king of Pentecost. Somebody's going to pay somebody so it wouldn't be like... Is it dark waters and stuff where they go and mm, missionary? Um, what do they call them people? Um, where they rebel against the government? <laughs> oh my God, I'm trying to figure out who them people is and stuff. Is it missionary? Yeah, they be like they they pay they get paid to do jobs and stuff. Somebody here is um paid to do a job. They could be paid to um get information to expose fucking people that's in high position that's corrupt that's all i'm saying but here y'all gonna learn the truth about some money too um their payment is coming you just haven't got it yet you could be frustrated because it could be a lot of red tape a lot of paperwork they keep acting for shit trying to verify you <laughs> all right the ace of swords and the king of pinnacle all right so man dark hair dark hair um dark hair Business are arrogant and powerful. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Yeah. So what they got going on? Four of Cups. Okay. So somebody is upset because they were rejected. All right. So they could be holding back finances because of this as well. But also, you guys may to, you may decide to reject something because it comes with um. What they say? They say it comes with shit. Um. Attachment. I can't remember things that you don't want, like sex. Like somebody, like I'm willing to pay you, but they got they could want to get sex from you guys or something like that. So you may deny something because of that as well. Like you know, I just want the money. I don't want to have sex with your ass or something like that, or vice versa. You know, <laughs> uh, yeah, it comes with things that's attached to it that you don't want and stuff. Four of Cups, Cancer energy again. Four of Cups is empathy. Like somebody just don't really give a fuck how it happened, the and who they sleep with. Somebody could be paying for ass and stuff too, and it's just like somebody's uncleans, un, un, uncleansly. <laughs> How else uh, can I say that? But because they got money and power and shit, um, they could want y'all too, but it's like not gonna happen though as well. So y'all might have to reject the boss or reject this money and stuff because it's not coming the way y'all want it as well. Some y'all also gonna change banks and stuff because they're not giving y'all the perks that you deserve, or you may start looking at new banks. It's probably a good time to show um because it's so if you look around, it's more competitive offers than what they're showing and stuff. That's why something is delayed because more research need to be done or more uh, there's other offers that's coming and stuff that y'all may not see coming yet. All right, King of Wands is, hmm. All right, so it's a green eye, blonde hair, red man. Okay, I heard Viking, okay? <laughs> ah! that Helen. But anyways, we have here a man over 25, green eyed, blonde hair, restless and outspoken ambitions. Okay. This um y'all could be a Leo or a Cancer. And it's this man or this person that's like in love with y'all or planning to meet up with y'all. There's a business or a love relationship or proposition coming in. So uh, maybe y'all want to be more towards the water or fire sign versus the earth or air sign. I don't know. But it's like 
this is like a better match with the same peace of mind joining the two people and stuff. Leo Cancer here with the King of Wands and the Two of Cups. So he's looking at love, okay? Or this is probably a better match, okay? Or somebody's loyal here. <laughs> Them hoes ain't loyal. Yeah, he got a key, okay? But it say also be careful. Let's see if this guy's sick or not, okay? Because it say if it's by bad card, somebody could be sick, okay? Yeah, oh, somebody could, yeah. So be careful sleeping with a fire sign because they said this person could be ill if it's around a lucky card. The cloud is like that a lucky card as well, too. Mm. People be doing the most and shit, but it's a warning here. But somebody like, I love you. I'm loyal to you. I want to be with you, but um, somebody could be ill. Okay, this could be a police officer that's sick and sleeping with people or somebody in a position of power sleeping with people. Damn, that's fucked up, okay? I was hoping he'd come out right, but um, y'all may be a Leo or a Cancer that need to be warned about a fire sign or another a water sign because um, this person may be able to open doors, but they saying, mm. There's some domestic unhappiness or un, un upheaval happening in this as well, what I'm saying here. So be careful what y'all do here. Yeah, seven of ones, they telling y'all naturally to block something and shit as well. But I feel like y'all on top of the situation because the seven of ones came out with this. So y'all could be blocking this love. Okay, I love you, but I got to go, motherfucker. I love you, but I don't know where your penis been at uh, something like that. Or I don't know who you let inside you because the ace of ones is showing up there. So, well, yeah. Take your time. But they say y'all on top of this situation, you're going to you're gonna be able to overcome whatever. This could be sexual uh, sexual frustration or whatever. Yeah, but it ain't worth you getting sick because they saying somebody is sick. And with the Ace of Wands being the only cup out here, it's telling me it's an STD type of sickness and stuff as well. Um, or somebody can't get it up. <laughs> but I, <laughs> we have a message or a visitor coming in to y'all. So y'all may be getting some type of news um, when it comes to y'all finances, okay? Let's see, tax returns or, you know, doing the paperwork and stuff. Oh, my God, somebody's worried about somebody getting a letter, okay, or a message that concerns them, Virgo, Gemini. All right. Y'all got a new love coming. So, I don't know, this person is guilty about sleeping with somebody or somebody's worried that a cancer is about to expose their asses or some shit like that. It's like, but y'all having happiness, but I'm like, what's what's wrong with this person? Why they worried and shit? All right. <laughs> somebody worried that somebody knows that they with a new person or somebody worried that y'all about to hook up with somebody new. There's new love, stableness, security coming into your life in about a month. The heart. Okay. Somebody could have had a heart attack too. Somebody could be worried that somebody learned that they poisoned their spouse or tried to kill their spouse through poison. It's a custom three because or they was in cahoots working to give a Leo a heart attack or to give a cancer a heart attack or some shit like that. Um, but the heart is saying good things, but the cars got sickness around it. So I just feel like somebody is trying to call somebody stress to the point that they have a stroke or a heart attack as well. <laughs> but somebody's built for it tough or somebody is like got an abdominal will. The seven of ones always represents something backfiring. And the reason that it's backfiring is because you guys it's not time that's why something is delayed but you know not denied but it's good y'all gonna get that emperor status and that nine of cups and stuff that's the overall energy you got to be careful with these people because people do a whole bunch of little shit yeah be careful what you drink too because the ace of cups and three of cups behind the nine of swords and the nine of pentacles it's like somebody's like putting some type of shit and something and worry that the evidence, okay, <laughs> the evidence could be sperm, blood, or saliva, okay? And if it's forensic science or somebody pick up this evidence, somebody could be caught doing some, like, shady shit, okay? The <laughs> That's what I'm saying, deposit, okay? If somebody depositing something and they don't want somebody to know, it could be a Capricorn. Y'all money is going to improve, though. All right, <laughs> I'm like, no. All right, more money will be coming y'all way probably in four days or within the next four weeks and stuff. Yeah, y'all going to be so happy, too, that y'all held back on something with the banquet as well. A banquet of money is coming your way, baby, okay? Um, so you may want to leave somebody as a platonic relationship, okay? Leave that, leave that person as platonic. Uh, leave the situation platonic if you can for now. Like, mm, I don't know, you shouldn't be giving this person no M. Nah, nah, okay, whatever this is, or any sexual favors, because there's um there is some type of sickness in the air. Whether this person can, whether this sickness is contagious or not, it's just like something about holding back. <laughs> but we got the banquets of flower indicate absolute um 
long and happy life, and if children are near extraordinary honors and fame, okay? So somebody could be on their way to fortune and fame, and somebody could be trying to infect your ass and stuff. That's just how it happens when people see people about to become stars and stuff, or become into, you know, you be you enter into the best moment of your life and shit, and here come this motherfucking... <laughs> hateful, evil, vindictive person trying to take you down and everything, okay? Ooh, y'all got some good shit coming in, okay? Together, baby. The Four of Pentacles, because you held back, this is what's going to come. Or because you guys are holding back for that right opportunity, yeah. Y'all got the letter showing up. I feel like somebody got bad news. and I feel like bad news and good news, okay, coming in. Um, so hopefully you're on the good side of the good news, but we got the letter indicate a sign of good tidings and when near and touching indicate unexpected good fortune. Yeah. And it shows that with more money coming in and, um, money improvement, cause something is on delay and shit. And I feel like shit, that, that's one of the hardest thing to do right here too, is whole like sex. Sex is such a powerful thing. All right. <laughs> Sex is very powerful, potent and shit, okay? You can manifest off that shit. The whole back from that, and once you had it, if it's great or good or magnificent, you know, everybody don't have good sex. <laughs> It'd be hard to, like, uh, say no, okay? So there's a, that's a blessing, too. Discipline is a blessing because you um, delay gratification is what it's called. Because you get the you get the reward later, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, silence, okay? So your silence are going to be, yeah. yeah. Think about this shit, okay? <laughs> Don't think about it too much, too much, too much. <laughs> All right, so there's a sweet embrace of nothingness, stillness that brings presence of self and fully embody, okay? So I feel like you guys are realizing something in your darkest moments or seeing somewhere alone, okay? I also feel like you guys are understanding that the harvest is coming because the pumpkin represents harvest next to her sin on the stairways, and she's on the stairs, so she's climbing out of whatever. The hermit is like that ghost in the night that leads you out of a dark situation into an enlightenment situation. So you guys are also going to discover what's going to be right for you to heal any type of issues as well. I always get healed thyself too with that situation. So yeah, climbing a ladder or climbing yourself out of something that you didn't have enough information about and finding out what's good for you too, which is not easy. All right. Then we got that again. We got the nine of ones. Yeah. It's a Sagittarius that y'all need to block too. <laughs> y'all could be a Sagittarius or a Leo, but ah, shit, somebody is like, somebody is like um a sex demon in here. All right, so undecided, need to take a step out of the situation, then you will see more clearly, okay? And then we got here a young man, um, years, important letter again. And then we got the seven to one. All right, so, but they say y'all under y'all own the situation, but there is somebody that could be trying to violate y'all boundaries and stuff. The emperor, there you go. All right, this could be an Aries, but this is where y'all need to be at, okay? Stability and stabilizing influences coming into your life. So this could be somebody of um, um importance and stuff, this emperor that's showing up in your life. All right, that's cool. So, but some of y'all too, this could be in every season where you finally feel like I'm finally stable after going through whatever you got going on. The road turns to the cloud, foretells misadventure, but far from the person, you can avert the uh, evil consequences. Yeah, so I feel like this is somebody, something is unshakable. You guys are on unshakable ground. Somebody is trying to shake your foundation here as well. You guys got to think about this. So railroads, X marks the spot. Yeah, it could be an Aries, or y'all gonna figure out who this person is and stuff. And somebody also is trying to keep y'all from a divine counterpart. The emperor and the empress is here, as well. Okay, mouse. Okay, look at this. Somebody's a thief. Is shit too. Mm mm. So they said mouse denotes stuff by loss. Um, if near, but it denotes recovery after difficult but disdain. Okay, but this thing you will it will be irreparable. Okay, yeah, you can't get your health back is what it's saying for some of y'all. You know, some mistakes you you could regret them, but it will never change. So if you get if you contract the STD, that's incurable. That's something that you can never recover, right? Your health will never come back to where it needs to be if you um end up ill like that. So I feel like not just death. That should be that's the stealing of your health. Mars is a very strong card and everything as well. So strength is strengthening that card too so be careful who y'all let around y'all i feel like sexual energy very strong in this reading though you know be careful who your bedmate is 
We got a woman here, the fortune being told and stuff. Some of you guys are going to be getting a new home and stuff, a lady here. All right. Some of you guys are going to get a home for your kids, okay? Or you're going to find a shelter or you're going to find a safe haven too. All right. So the healthy, no success in all venture. Present condition is unpleasant. Um, the future will be prosperous and happy, okay? Also predicts marriage. We've seen marriage early on and stuff as well. All right. Yeah, some of y'all, it could y'all could be a Gemini, okay? This could be stuck, okay, in jailed or feeling trapped and gagged, okay? Wow, somebody could be a kidnapper or something. <laughs> I ain't got time. I heard whole house or something. Y'all gonna get out of some bullshit. We got here the nine of swords, okay? Speedy situation in the finish. So something's about to speed up as well. Somebody could be uh attacking y'all for some reason. So you got to go. All right, so be on the lookout. A Gemini could be dangerous. Y'all could be a Gemini. Somebody could be attacking y'all on social media. Be careful with that, okay? King of Cups with your heart, too. Four of Wands with your, with your home as well. Some of y'all may move to the countryside as well. There's a... Um, Scorpio Cancer coming in for y'all, okay? Queen of Swords. All right, so somebody demanding a lot of shit as well. Somebody could be trying to make it, um, want you guys to verify y'all income. I don't know who this woman is, but she, y'all, this, uh, who it's a Aquarius here that don't like y'all, okay? Or they, they, they be, y'all could be a Aquarius too. Somebody behind the scenes doing a whole bunch of shit, all right? Trying to stop you guys from shining bright like a diamond and stuff or shining um, and healing. Yeah, clear up the frog, okay? Somebody feeling real frog. It's like somebody want to fight. I don't know if this is an intellectual fight because, I mean, we did have a, a five of ones, but it could definitely be a verbal debate. Like somebody is in here trying to debate some shit and stuff on y'all. Needing to take the blindfold off, okay? Reassess the situation. Reassess who you do business with and stuff as well. Because they say, may the lily beneath your breast allow you to drink from the healing waters. Be still, for there is a serenity behind the drowning cloak. <laughs> All right, now. So I feel like, too, there is, like, sarcasm behind somebody's words or there is some deeper truth to what somebody is saying here. Yeah, be listening, okay? Behold, listen to what somebody's telling your ass, okay? Alter. All right, so I'm hearing alter reality and stuff. So, um, <laughs> programming shit, like the TV is called programming for a reason, okay? Okay, so somebody could be like, um, I feel like somebody is like a test subject or something uh, as well. All right, so scarce devotion, worship the skin that rises from the ashes, the, war the waters you keep, okay? Oh, my God, so be careful of the company you keep because people can change the way you act and the decisions that y'all make. Uh, th somebody can also have y'all ass on the altar and shit, and frogs are hard to catch. So I'm definitely getting, like, gentle to gentle warts and shit, okay, or herpes and shit, especially with the STDs and all the sickness and shit. All right, so somebody could be, like, trying to put something into, like, the hell. Oh, my God, this is, like, everyday shit, too, because I feel like the collective, they want to affect the collective and stuff. And it could be, like, in um water, soda, or it's, like, something, like, um what's that down? Um, Lake L L what is it, something, where they infected all them damn people in the military? Um, radioactive and shit, too, is what I'm hearing. Damn. All right, Paige, pay attention to your intuition, okay? Some good news is going to come in from a family member or a boss family as well. I don't know. You just got to pay attention to what y'all drinking. I'm hearing, too, it's that one disease that go around when you got to tell your kids don't share drinks with other people, don't drink at the people and stuff. Is it meningitis and stuff like that? I don't know. It's just like something is like contagious here, and it has to do with saliva or like um, human. Uh, mm. <laughs> we got tennis swords. Yeah, a lot of people involved, okay? Death for ending a situation, relationship. And we got here seven of cup. All that glitter is not gold. Look beyond the clouds. Money improvement. Yeah. So y'all looking at something or you are like, hmm. You, it's like sometimes when you step into like an office or you go somewhere and you just get a bad vibe and some tell you to walk the fuck up out the building. This is not the place. It look nice. It looks good. Everybody seem cool, but I feel funny. Walk the fuck up out the building. All right. This could be a doctor office. Like, <laughs> you're like, I got to go to another one. <laughs> Ah, seven of cups, but seven of cups with Scorpio energy. I'm definitely either reconsider a surgery or get a second opinion. Okay, yeah, elements. 
if you guys are have to consider these things, you probably want to get a second opinion. I'm hearing as well. Remember to feed the one posting through your wound. Okay, you are the child of the mother. True harmony awaits you. So this is basically uh, a card of manifestation. Okay, the magician as well. The elements um, tell you guys that y'all are manifesting, but you're gonna you have to use all, everything at your disposal. I'm hearing strong protection magic because the seven of ones kept coming through. So definitely make sure you guys protect y'all. So that's a card of um being spiritually protected as well and things being backfired and also hearing enemies um that's around that you're not aware of all right guys i hope you enjoyed this please drop a like share and comment